This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the focus cell. Another modification that I made in it. Before I had stainless steel washers in between to make the contacts in the plates. Now what I have is one long stainless steel shaft between the plates. Since the focus cell has 10 neutral plates in it, the spacing now between the electrodes is much larger. So these are the actual electrodes, meaning that this side gets hooked to 1 plus or minus to the battery. And the other side here is the other plus or minus to the battery. This side here is going to these three plates, which can be either plus or minus. And the other three, if you look very closely, are attached to the other electrode. And there are the other side. The other modification that I've done here is I no longer make the spacers in the cells. What I'm doing is using these nylon spacers. It saves me a lot of work and time. It costs more, but it makes for a more uniform cell. As you can see, the cell has evolved considerably. A lot of people have emailed me, asked me about the site, hydrogentap.com, and it's a work in progress right now. The reason for that is I'm going to be capitalizing on the focus cell. Instead of going off and doing many, many types of cells, the focus is going to be the main cell that I'll be working with. And what that will enable me to do is cut all my plates standard widths instead of having to worry about different widths. Also, as you can see, using this here, cutting out a lot of the small pieces that I no longer have to worry about. The focus cell itself is going to be on hydrogentap.com. It'll be separate along with a kit that will have the focus tube and everything else that goes with it. Right now I'm working in the Honda as you're aware of and the installation process has been going pretty slow. The reason for that is I'm building in many backup systems especially for protection. One of those systems that I'm working on is so that when the key turns on, it closes a relay and the relay turns on the cell. In the system I'm designing, there are actually two relays that have to turn on. That way, if one of the relays should freeze, closed and the other is open, there's no hydrogen produced. That's just one of the many features that I've been working on and I'll show you that hopefully tomorrow in the car if it doesn't rain here tomorrow. You can see the plate arrangement here. These are your three points one electrode and here are the three points on the second electrode. The other is neutral plates in between it. And the unit behind it of course is the tube that I'm working with right now. This is one of the ports, one of the cooling ports and there's the other cooling port. You'll be seeing a lot of that. The cell that's in the Honda right now is a special test cell that is clear so we'll be able to see what's going on in it. 
Again, if you want to email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. I'm always anxious to get email. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. I'm really wrestling with that site. Hopefully I'll have some of this up there tonight, if not tonight, tomorrow.